guys today. We are super excited to start talking about the Giro MXL. It's been something that we've been working on for close to two years. Um, we were actually developing our own housing, which is going to be made out of carbon fiber. And then the opportunity came along for us to purchase uh, Brother Housings. Brother Housings have been around for many years. They're one of the most popular affordable housings, um, entry level housings to get you out into the water. When the opportunity came, we jumped on it. Um, we already had some ideas how we could improve the products and really just take it to the next level. The first thing was when I looked at the Brother Housing and I thought, okay, this is amazing. I'm going to go and I'm going to get my 5D Mark III wet. I'm going to get it in the water. I'm going to go take amazing photos. The problem is when you close up that housing, you were, you were locked in with the functionality. You were locked in to either be shooting a uh, photo or you'd have to use a module in order to hit that video record button. And, and that was a problem for me. So when we looked at it, and I mean, we've obviously had the Geo Mobiles out in the market for almost three, four years now. And just having a soft back door on the back, it, it just makes so much sense. It allows you to, on a camera like a Sony that's got the record button right there, just push straight through your recording, allowing you to make any adjustments that you can on the back of your, of your housing. Yes, we still do have limitations when it comes through to reaching into the housing and getting to any of the front uh, functions or to getting to your lenses, that kind of a thing. But again, guys, we, we've built this as an affordable housing. This is something that should be a third of the price of anything else that's out there. We've really made a number of massive changes since we've taken over. Um, we'll talk through them like piece by piece when we get there, but I think most guys that are familiar with the Brother Housing will notice is the new seals. Coming from the Gito Mobile and knowing how good silicone is and the fact that it has zero memory, it's a game changer from the earlier injection molded um, seals that were supplied with these, uh, with these units. This little seal should really last you years and years and years and give you no issues at all. When guys are looking to first get started with underwater photography and obviously most guys would start off with a, with a GoPro camera or some waterproof camera like that. Um, and that's fantastic, that's where I started, that's where most guys do start to go shoot waves, to go shoot underwater footage, to snorkel with, etc. Putting your mirrorless and DSLR housing into the water really just opens things up for you. It, it takes it to the next level, allows you to get better footage. As you grow as an underwater photographer, surf photographer, whatever it is that you want to do with the GDOM XL, you don't have to outgrow the housing. So as you get a new camera body or you upgrade your lenses, it's going to be compatible. And if you want to buy a 80 millimeter lens extension and, and join multiple lens extensions, you can. Like it really doesn't limit you. As you change from Sony across to Canon or vice versa, or you move across to Pentax or whatever camera it is that you want to use, it's going to be compatible with our system. The only thing that you're going to need is you're going to have to change your cabling system, which will obviously be available on our website. You'll be able to buy these cables for whatever camera it is that you have. Otherwise, it's a simple modification with three wires that you need to solve them. We're taking the, the business model of trying to make sure that you guys have a future solution forever. You can buy once, you can cry once. And yes, if you do want to upgrade to something that will go deeper um, than five meters or will go deeper than 15 meters, there's plenty of housings on the market like Nordicam that will allow you to go to those greater depths and give you the full functionality. But again, they're a very different price point to us. Our price point, we want to be under $600 for our basic housing. We want to give you guys the full rear functionality and we really want to allow you guys to put whatever camera that you've got into the housing. There just simply is no solution like ours in the market right now. There is nothing out there. So guys, there are three different options for back doors. We've obviously got the standard rear membrane that allows you to touch through the buttons on the back of your camera. This is extremely flexible. I mean, you can see how much force I'm putting on there and that's not going to take. This is medical grade silicone. It's made to be extremely robust, completely waterproof and not made to tear. So obviously if you put something sharp through it, it will cut, it will tear, but as long as you're using your fingers and your fingernails are relatively well trimmed, you're not going to have any issues with this. A lot of guys have asked about waves, where they can take that impact, and the answer to that is yes, it absolutely can take that impact. It is locked in on 10 points, so there's no chance that the screen's going to collapse and pull through. And the reason why we, we rate it to 5 meters is because of the pressure at, at 5 meters. It does start sucking in onto the housing. And yeah, it's not a solid backdoor, it's not made for great depth, but if you're going to go snorkeling and go shoot some waves, this really is an awesome little piece of kit right 
Option number two, we can offer you a solid back door. We can pre-drill it. So with a pre-drilled configuration, basically all you'll need to do is slot the button in like that. The buttons do have a little seal. Once you tighten it up, we add a little bit of silicone in order just to keep it there, make sure it can't come loose um, during use. And yeah, this is a, a cool little solution for the guys that want to go a little bit deeper, but we're going to push the limits a bit with bigger weights, short breaks. By pressing this button, it's going to allow you to um, focus and fire. It's a really little cool solution. And then obviously we do have the full solid back door. This is kind of what the guys that are familiar with Brother Housings would have had in the past. It's straight up solid back door to go on and you're going to have to trigger your camera another way. So whether that is on the pistol trigger, um, which will come with a button, which is pre-configured um, in order to focus and shoot, that's up to you and how you want to use it. We've got the pistol trigger over here. Um, I don't know if I can even call it a pistol trigger because Facebook likes to block anything that's firearm related, but this is not a firearm part, this is not firearm related. This is what we use to add to the bottom of your housing. With the pistol trigger, it's going to allow you to basically push up and Get the, get the photos that you want when shooting surf photography, it's what it's mainly designed for. For surf photography, you're not actually going to be able to shoot uh, with two hands. You actually need your one hand to stabilize yourself while going through the, the break and pushing out to get the shot that you want. I mean, we weren't originally going to include the, the pistol grip, um, but we decided that there was a lot of interest, so it's something that we are making. This is completely resin fold, um, and it will have our custom button put in and this will run through into your housing and basically all you'll need to do is add your adapter in order to get your camera to fire. What we have with the pistol grip is you can either have this pistol grip and you'll be able to shoot with this um, and then use the soft back door or you can use it with the hard back door and the pistol grip depending on how uh, what kind of conditions you want to shoot in, how big the swell is, how big the waves are. Yeah, but this is a fantastic solution if you are looking to do that surf photography, short rate photography, or just if you prefer the feeling of having a trigger in your hand and be able to shoot with the trigger. Let's talk a little bit about the side handles on the Gito Mixer. So these sharp side handles are completely removable. You've got two bolts that you need to loosen, and they are lock nuts. So you will in having a key, and they are not going to come out once they've been added. Basically, they just cut into the housing. They are ambidextrous, so you can use them left or right and then you clip them in, add the two bolts, and then you've got handles. So if you're shooting with a pistol, some people might want to shoot right-handed with the side stabilization, so you would mount it something like this, or if you want to shoot left-handed, you would shoot left-handed with a configuration like that. Every GDO Excel does come with two side handles, and you'll be able to configure either with both, um, and the trigger if you go for the, the surf combo, or you can just choose one, whatever's more comfortable to you, um, the choice is completely up to you as to how you want to configure your housing. As it stands, we've currently got three options for ports. The first one is the one is how this housing is configured here. It's a great thing for shooting anything above and below the water. Um, you're not going to get your split shots with a setup like this. That's why our dome port extension comes. So with this extension, basically also as the system's completely modular, a couple of screws you loosen, you'll tighten the system up and you'll be able to add your dome port. With the third, not a lot of people know, but we do have an 80 millimeter extension. And with that 80 millimeter extension, like you can see over here, you would firstly mount your dome port extension onto your housing, and then you would be able to mount your um, 80 millimeter extension. And on the top side of your 80 mm extension, you're able to add a flat lens, or you can add a dome port to that. And that's going to be ideal for your cameras with the longer lenses, bigger lenses. And also, if you do want to add multiple of those 80 mm extensions, you can add as many as you, as you want. Um, the amount is infinite. You could shoot with a three meter lens if, if there was such a thing. So the G-Dome mounting system, this is something that we had to put a lot of time and effort into understanding and trying to figure out the, the, the physics and dynamics behind it. How the original Brother Housings came and came out with the slotted groove and basically a little bit of foam on either side. The issue with that for us is the fact that we have now added the soft back door. With the soft back door, if you push put enough pressure on the housing, it would shift off axis. And that was a big problem for us until we came up with the back bar. So like you can see here, this is a basic back bar. And what happens with this is we've got two parts over here on this base tray. 
and basically a bolt will run through. These are fully adjustable, so you'll notice that there are holes running down the side of this base plate, and that allows you to adjust where these mounts are, where these stabilizers are positioned. By having it adjustable, it allows you to mount your camera where you want it to be, and then have this back bar there. What the back bar does is essentially it sits it sits um, right up against the back of your camera. With the back of the bar in place and tightened up, it is locking the camera in a left-right plane, so it's unable to rotate. So once your camera is set up properly, the back of the bar is adjusted nice and tight onto the back of the camera. All that happens is we do have two um, slots here. This base plate is able to slide straight in and slide straight out. Your cable is mounted onto uh, this back bar uh, with this kind of configuration. Obviously, if you are going to be using a hard back door with the button, it will be different. Or if you're going to be shooting with the um, trigger mechanism, you might not want a button cap. If you are going to be doing that, uh, we would suggest just using this back bar, which is included with the package. Both of these are included. And also, if you have got a smaller camera that needs to sit more forward in the housing, you are able to combine the two back bars together in order to create that distance in that space. And to mount your camera into the housing, it's as simple as lining it up and just pushing it into place. And you'll know that it's in place as soon as your back plate will not interfere with your housing back door. Uh, to remove your camera, you literally will just be able to pull back and you'll remove your entire plate out in one movement. And that includes with your cable, so there's nothing left lying in the housing. So the biggest feature of the Geom XL is the fact that it is not camera specific. It's able to take multiple different cameras. It's able to take multiple different camera brands. When you upgrade your camera, your lenses, you are able to um, put straight into your housing. The only difference is going to be in the wiring of the button. With the Geom XL, if you do decide to change your camera body or change to a different brand or make. The only real difference is going to be in one of the adapters that you guys are using. So if you're shooting Sony, you're going to need a Sony adapter. Um, we're trying to make them with these little 2.5mm uh, um, box cables, so it's literally just a plug and play. Um, the bar put in, uh, put your new cable straight in, that's the simplest option. The other alternative is, is a straight wire cable straight through to the button uh, with, your, with your cable. We will have all the different cables available uh, for the different models that are available to us and those will be available on our online store for purchase. One of the newest products that we've got over here at Genome is actually our Sabre cover. And anyone that's ever worked with the dome boards uh, will know that they can scratch and know how difficult it is to keep that dome in perfect condition. Uh, with the Sabre cover, it literally is a piece of flexible rubber and all you're going to do in order to protect your camera is to slap it straight on. Like that. Once it's on, there's no movement, there's no play, and um, you can bang the camera around. There's, there's going to be no chance of you damaging it. The only thing you do need to keep in mind is make sure that there's no sand particles or salt or anything on either the saber cover or the dome when you do apply it. You want that perfect suction, you want it ready to suck on there and stay on there, and there to be no movement or play in the unit. But this is a move with every single one that is ported, so you don't need to buy it if you buy it. Um, an XL, it will come with your dome ports, it will come with your extension lens, with a flat lens, um, and your dome port is going to be covered uh, with one of our seven covers, which should be included for free. If you do go for one of our entry level housings that don't come with the, the pistol grip, you're not going to be able to add it after the fact. The reasoning for this is that there are precision cut holes. There's five different holes that are cut in there. And with those five holes, that's what we use to mount onto the trigger. We do all of that in-house here at Gino. Not only is the pistol trigger grip drilled into the housing, there obviously has to be seals and valves that we have to install. So guys, if you ever do damage your pistol trigger grip and housing, unfortunately, when we sell your replacement, it's going to be um, the trigger with the housing. And it's a great solution um, to get you guys in the water, ready to shoot without any issues. So when it comes to closing up the back of the housing, Yes, we know guys, 10 screws is a lot of efforts. Um, the grand total of one minute to undo and do up your housing is a little bit of a mission. We have created these nice uh, back thumb screws for you just to loosen by hand. Guys, you really don't need to winch these down. So like finger tights, that's gonna seal it up. You can follow it with your finger, just make sure that all of them are tight. Give it one turn afterwards just to make sure you know 100% that it is all sealed up and fitted nicely. 
otherwise we will also be supplied with the normal just straight allen head which you guys will literally put in and you can use a um, allen key to tighten up again guys do not over torque these you can damage the thread and damage your housing by giving it too much force the final option which is quite convenient if you go over to a local hardware store you can pick up one of these little electric drills what you can do is you can set it to one of the lighter settings where it will click over when it reaches the, the torque that's too much and it is super quick to literally just lay your bolts in the housing and then just go like a Formula One driver and just zip 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 and your housing will be closed up and opened up extremely fast. So I hope you guys are as pumped as we are about the Gidom XL. It really is a game changer for Gidom. It's something that we've been wanting to introduce into the market for a really long time and it really is closing off our complete offering of products and we now have got you covered when it comes to mobile cell phones with the GDOM Pro we've got you sorted when it comes to anything GoPro whether it's GoPro Hero 10 and if you're looking to go deep over 40 meters we've got a housing for that if you're looking to go a little bit shallower we've got the advanced um, series of GDOMs this is a, a great start for us to get the guys in the water with their DSLR and mirrorless cameras and we really can't wait to see the kind of footage that you guys are going to get and what you guys are going to get up to with your, with your bigger cameras getting them wet, getting them in the water at a great price and knowing that if you ever do decide to change your, your camera, your lens, whatever it is that you've got a, you've got a solution that's going to go with you and grow with you.